Hello, Joe here from Infinity of the Coma. I'm here to tell you about one of our newest products, the 2017 Infinity QX30. It's uh, not only one of our most uh, affordable Infinities, it's also one of the smallest. And uh, even though it's small, it's still very comfortable and spacious. I'm six foot two, I fit very comfortably in here. Uh, but Infinity, they uh, knew they needed to get into this uh, specific segment of the automotive market. Uh, these compact luxury crossover uh, SUVs are really the hot uh, market right now. So Infinity uh, came on board with the QX30. It actually shares some of its uh, mechanical DNA with the Mercedes-Benz GLA. And you might wonder why Infiniti decided to do that. Well, they had two choices. Uh, since this is a new product for them, they didn't really have anything else in uh, their product line to base a vehicle like this off of. They had two choices. They could go to Nissan and they could get like a Juke or a Rogue and turn that into an Infiniti. But they were thinking, well, you know, we love Nissans, but, you know, the Jukes and Rogues are, you know, compact, uh, SUVs just like this QX30, but they're also built, you know, to be affordable and they're built to be at a certain price point. So they believe that they weren't going to be refined enough and luxury enough to be worthy of wearing the Infinity label. They did just fine for Nissan, but Infinity is a luxury division and, you know, it needs to go head to head with like some of the best luxury products out there from like BMW and Mercedes. So they really wanted to get a, uh, a better, uh, a better basis to construct their compact SUV. So they actually went to Mercedes. Uh, they do share some uh, uh, technology with Mercedes. It's actually pretty common that a lot of uh, car uh, manufacturers will actually share technology with other car manufacturers because uh, from a cost standpoint, it's a lot easier to, to share and uh, license technology versus creating your own from scratch. So they uh, licensed the GLA technology for Mercedes and uh, so basically the mechanics of it, like the engine, the transmission, uh, comes from Mercedes, but as far as like the styling and stuff goes, it's almost completely Infinity from the inside and the outside. Uh, this QX30 is very distinctive uh, and it looks very different uh, than the Mercedes GLA it, uh, it kind of shares its uh, platform with. If you park them next to each other, they'd be about the same size, but they look a lot different. You'd most people wouldn't even think that they really shared any any uh, common components and this uh, particular QX30 is very very well optioned out with features beautiful leather interior uh, with some nice contrast stitching I love this black piano finish it has a seven speed dual clutch transmission uh, this is actually the first dual clutch transmission available in an Infiniti most of the other automatic transmissions uh, that Infiniti has are conventional uh, regular seven speed automatics or continuously variable transmissions this is actually a little bit different it has uh, two clutches uh, but it's automated it's almost like an automated manual transmission so the car's computer system engages and disengages uh, the clutches and changes the gears you can put it in manual mode if you want and uh, change the gears yourself but uh, by using clutches instead of, instead of a torque converter like a conventional automatic transmission these dual clutch transmissions are a lot more efficient and uh, they uh, generally offer really good performance. Uh, performance on par, if not better, than uh, what you'd find with a uh, manual transmission. And it's very smooth. Uh, and the cool part about having dual clutches is that one clutch can be in uh, a gear right now, but the next clutch can be ready to engage the next gear. So when you actually change gears, it's pretty much lightning fast. Dual zone auto climate control power and heated front seats, uh, great sending Bose audio system, uh, nice uh, full leather trim on the dashboard with contrast stitching, uh, nice uh, display for the navigation, it's also a uh, rear parking camera, nice leather up steering wheel and you have some contrast stitching there as well. Uh, this one is a really nice color combination in red and black and this is the all-wheel drive model of the QX30 So there's basically two uh, Distinct models of the QX30. There's an all-wheel drive and there's a front-wheel drive If you opt for the all-wheel drive, it's gonna have a little bit more uh, of an SUV themed design element They uh, has a little bit higher ride height They add some uh, body uh, moldings on it to give it a little bit more of a kind of a off-road I should say look kind of like a, a regular SUV 
while this really isn't designed to going for going off-road uh, with the all-wheel drive system then they probably anticipate you maybe driving in the snow maybe going on some beat up dirt and gravel road stuff like that so they give you a little bit more uh, gr ground clearance and then when you get the front wheel drive uh, QX30 uh, especially the sportier model it's gonna have a little bit more of a car theme that's gonna have styling that's more along the lines of a passenger car versus an SUV. Nice spacious interior, even the back seats are very comfortable. Which you wouldn't always expect in a car this size. Nice uh, big panoramic sunroof. And then you have a sunshade too to uh, dim things down if it gets too bright. Really is a beautiful design, beautiful curvaceous body, uh, typical Infinity styling. It's kind of following the typical design theme of a lot of other Infinity products, which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, Infinities are absolutely beautiful. Their chief designer is renowned in the uh, design community as being one of the best in the business. For the engine, we have a turbocharged four-cylinder engine with direct injection. Direct injection is the latest in gasoline engine technology. It works uh, by sending highly pressurized gasoline directly into the combustion chamber. Generally, that makes an engine more efficient, uh, makes less emissions, uh, makes more horsepower relative to the size of the engine, and uh, you get better gas mileage. This makes a little over 200 horsepower. It's turbocharged, so you have lots of low-end power. It's not a heavy vehicle at all, so if 200 horsepower is very, very quick. That Mercedes is actually sourced for, uh, I said Mercedes, that engine is actually sourced for Mercedes. It's used in a lot of Mercedes products, like the Mercedes C-Class, uh, the Mercedes GLA, which is uh, the, the sister vehicle, I should say, to the QX30. And it's also, in fact, used as one of the optional engines in our Q50 sedan. Really is a fantastic power plant. Mercedes has been, has been making that engine for a very long time. So it has a proven track record. It's very reliable. And it's used in a lot of products throughout the world. Thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Please come in and uh, take one of these QX30s out for a test drive. Take it out for a spin. We'll give you a full demonstration of, a demonstration of all its fine points. It really is a wonderful automobile, and if you're in the market for a compact uh, luxury crossover SUV, this one's well worth a look. I think you'll be very, very impressed.